Did you know that the way you start your car on a cold morning can quietly destroy your engine, even when it sounds fine? 60 miles of wear before you leave your driveway. That's not a myth, that's measured fact. And almost all this damage, you can avoid it. If you hear your car groan, idle rough, or make odd tapping sounds on freezing mornings, you hear damage in real time. Most drivers ignore it. That sound is your engine crying for help. Most car owners make the same critical mistakes every cold morning. They have no idea. Today, I walk you through 15 cold start mistakes that silently destroy engines everywhere. Stay until the end. I reveal the most common myth about warming up your car. This misconception has harmed engines for years. I also show you the correct way to warm up your car. Here's what you need to know first. When temperatures drop, four crucial things happen inside your engine. These things make every start a potential hazard. Your oil turns thick. At zero degrees Fahrenheit, your engine oil flows 10 times slower than normal. It becomes thick like refrigerated honey. For several seconds after you turn the key, vital parts run with almost no protection. The oil pump tries to push that thick oil through tiny passages. It takes time to reach bearings, cam lobes, and piston skirts. For those first moments, metal scrapes against metal. Engineers call this boundary lubrication. The oil you use matters more than you think. Those numbers on the bottle, 0W20 or 5W30. They tell you how well oil flows when cold. 0W oil starts protection in about 5 seconds. 10W oil might take 15. That's huge when every second means more wear. Your battery fights an uphill battle. At zero degrees, your battery delivers only 50% of normal power, only half. That's why your car groans and cranks slowly on icy mornings. The slower your engine turns, the longer unprotected parts grind together before oil arrives. Cold cranking amps is the real test in winter. We call it CCA. A battery can show 12 volts and still fail. Only a proper load test tells you if it's up to the job. Your fuel doesn't spray properly when cold. Your engine needs fuel as fine mist to burn efficiently. In freezing weather, it's like you toss water balloons instead of spray perfume. Droplets are too big. Much of that fuel doesn't burn. Instead, it washes past piston rings and contaminates your oil. This makes oil less effective at protection. All metal parts inside your engine shrink when cold. Metal gets smaller as temperatures drop. Pistons, bearings, and cylinder walls don't fit together properly. This causes piston slap. That tapping noise? Cold pistons rock in oversized bores. They scrape away metal that should last hundreds of thousands of miles. Even modern engines suffer this. The Volkswagen GTI has rhythmic knocking on cold starts. The noise fades as everything warms, but damage adds up every time. All these problems happen at once. The first 30 seconds to 5 minutes are critical. Thick oil, weak battery, poorly burning fuel, and shrunken parts combine. Your engine becomes as vulnerable as it'll ever be. Your catalytic converter is also useless until it reaches 140 degrees Celsius. Until then, pollution passes straight through. The first minute of a cold start creates as much pollution as you'd create by driving a warmed car for hundreds of miles. Poor habits can kill your catalytic converter in just a few years. That costs thousands to replace. Now let's get into the 14 mistakes that make this worse. I bet you make several without knowing it. Your maintenance tells the whole story. Mistake number 14 involves regular maintenance and how much it matters for cold starts. Worn or dirty spark plugs make cold starts much harder. A gummed up throttle body does too. So does a clogged air filter. When spark plugs wear, the gap grows. It takes more voltage to fire. If they foul with carbon or oil, they might not fire at all in cold weather. Carbon builds up in your throttle body and idle air control valve. This makes cold idle rough. It causes stalls. Vacuum leaks from cracked hoses let in unmetered air. This causes lean running. Cold weather makes rubber hoses brittle. It worsens cracks. A dirty air filter throws off fuel mixture. This makes cold starts tougher. Your coolant temperature sensor tells your engine computer how much extra fuel to inject. If it's faulty, your engine might get too much or too little fuel. This makes starts difficult or floods the engine. Corroded electrical connectors show up as hard starts. Bad grounds do too. These problems get worse in the cold. Many people ignore check engine lights. 
they miss out on clues that could prevent a breakdown. The solution is a thorough pre-winter checkup. Replace spark plugs on schedule, clean the throttle body and idle air control valve, check vacuum hoses, swap out the air filter, verify the coolant sensor works, clean up electrical connections, don't ignore trouble codes. Modern computers are pretty good at telling you when something's wrong. Hybrid owners, this next one is for you. Mistake number 13 applies if you drive a hybrid or plug-in hybrid. Cold weather can seriously cut your battery life and electric range. Hybrid batteries are extremely temperature sensitive. When cold, they deliver less power. They charge less efficiently. Not plugging in your plug-in hybrid before you leave is the first issue. When you plug in, your car can precondition the battery with grid power. This saves electric range. It protects the cell. The second mistake is expecting full performance from a cold hybrid battery. Most hybrids will limit power or run the gas engine more until the battery warms up. This isn't a malfunction. It's the car protecting itself. The third mistake is skipping preconditioning features that many hybrids offer. These let you schedule departure times. The car warms the battery and cabin before you get in. Lots of owners never set this up. They don't know it exists. Plug in whenever you can. Use preconditioning. Set up scheduled departures. Cold weather will always reduce electric range until the battery warms up. But these steps make a big difference. This valve keeps your engine cold forever. Mistake number 12 involves your cooling system. Many people don't realize that a stuck open thermostat can keep your engine from ever reaching proper temperature. The thermostat is supposed to block coolant flow to the radiator until the engine is warm. If it's stuck open, coolant circulates constantly. Your engine takes forever to warm up. It may never reach the right temperature at all. A slow warming thermostat keeps your engine cooler than designed. This means more fuel washes into oil. Moisture never evaporates. Carbon deposits build faster. Your catalytic converter might never get hot enough. Always check your thermostat if your temperature gauge stays low after a long drive. Weak or diluted coolant can also hurt warm-up and cooling. Make sure your antifreeze is at the right strength. Make sure your thermostat works. If you own a Mazda CX-5, you might know about thermostat problems that led to extended warranty coverage. If a major car maker thinks it's worth a recall, it's important. Your fuel quality matters more than you think. Mistake number 11 is using low-quality fuel in winter. Cheaper gas stations often have fuel with fewer winter additives. Winter blend gasoline vaporizes easily in cold. Your engine starts and runs smoothly. Poor quality fuel doesn't atomize well. This makes cold starts harder. It increases unburned fuel washing into the oil. Diesel engines face bigger problems. Regular diesel can gel up in cold. This clogs fuel filters. It stops your engine. If you drive diesel, always use winter blend fuel. Add anti-gel additives before temperatures drop. Water in your fuel system can freeze. It blocks fuel lines. Keep your fuel tank at least half full. Replace fuel filter on schedule. This next mistake leaves people stranded on the coldest morning of the year. Mistake number 10 combines two critical battery failures. Skipping a pre-winter battery test is the first mistake. At zero degrees Fahrenheit, your battery only has about half its normal cranking power. Meanwhile, your engine needs even more power to turn over thick oil. It's a recipe for hard starts and dead batteries. A battery can show 12 volts but still fail under load. Only a proper load test or CCA test will tell you if it's up to the job. Most auto parts stores will do this for free. Corroded or loose terminals are another problem. That white or green buildup on your battery steals power every time you start. Even if your connections look clean, invisible oxidation can increase resistance. Clean your terminals regularly. Use protective grease. Expecting an old battery to survive another winter is risky. Most last three to five years. If yours is getting old, test it. Consider replacing it before it fails. Using a battery maintainer during storage is another mistake. Batteries discharge slowly even when not used. A deeply discharged battery can freeze. It can crack. It can lose capacity permanently. Finally, not carrying a portable jump starter is just asking for trouble. A compact jump pack can save you from being stranded. In cold weather, every amp of battery counts. Get your battery tested. Clean terminals. Turn off accessories before you start. Use a maintainer if your car sits. Keep a jump pack handy. Short trips are killing your engine slowly.
Mistake number nine is only taking short trips without letting your engine reach full operating temperature. Every time you start and only drive a few minutes, moisture and unburned fuel build in oil and crankcase. Your engine needs to reach at least 195 degrees Fahrenheit to burn off contaminants. If you only drive short trips, water and fuel never evaporate. Acids eat away at your engine. If your routine is mostly short drives, take your car on longer trips weekly. 30 minutes or more at highway speed lets your engine burn off moisture and carbon. If that's not possible, consider more frequent oil changes. Use a block heater for short trips in extreme cold. A block heater is a simple device that keeps your engine's coolant and oil warm before you start. When used right, it keeps everything at around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Your oil flows easily. Your engine gets protection from the very first second. Use a timer to save energy and still get all the benefits. Never do this right after you start. Mistake number eight combines two forms of demanding too much from cold engines. First is revving your engine right after you start. This is one of the fastest ways to cause permanent damage. When you rev a cold engine, metal parts that haven't expanded slam against each other. Oil hasn't reached all surfaces. You spin components at high speed with little protection. Every high RPM rev before warm-up multiplies wear. Let it idle for 30 seconds to a minute instead. Second is driving aggressively before engine and oil warm. When you drive hard or accelerate aggressively in first minutes, you multiply the wear happening inside. Flooring the accelerator or revving to high RPMS puts huge pressure on pistons, rods, and bearings without full oil film protection. Towing or hauling heavy loads right after cold starts is even worse. The solution is patience. Keep RPMs low, drive gently, avoid hard acceleration for the first several minutes. Use initial idle time to buckle seatbelt and adjust mirrors. Then drive gently until the engine reaches proper temperature. That habit can double your engine's life. Your transmission needs warm up too. Mistake number seven is forgetting your transmission needs warm up too. Most people never think about this. Your automatic transmission is full of hydraulic passages and clutch packs. These depend on fluid flowing freely. In cold weather, this fluid is thick and sluggish. If you shift into drive and accelerate hard immediately, you force cold, thick fluid through tiny passages. This causes harsh engagement. It causes clunky shifts. It causes long-term transmission wear. Manual transmissions also suffer. Gear oil is too thick to let synchronizers work smoothly. After you start, let your car idle briefly in park or neutral. When you shift into drive, wait a moment before you accelerate. Drive gently for several minutes. This gives transmission fluid time to warm and flow properly. If you notice harsh shifts or slipping when cold, have your transmission checked before it becomes bigger problems. Turbo owners, pay close attention. Mistake number six is critical if you own a turbocharged engine. Turbochargers spin at incredible speeds. They rely on steady oil flow to keep bearings alive. The problem is oil takes longer warming than coolant. If you floor the accelerator and build boost before oil warms, your turbo spins at high speed with thick, slow-flowing oil. This causes metal-to-metal -metal contact. It destroys turbo bearings. Idling doesn't warm oil quickly. Drive gently, avoid boost until oil warms. If your car has an oil temperature gauge, wait until it reads at least 70 degrees Celsius before you use boost or high RPM. If not, give it several minutes of gentle driving. That habit saves thousands on turbo repairs. This mistake can be life-threatening. Mistake number five is more serious than just engine damage. It's about safety. It can be life-threatening. Using open flames or torches to warm your engine is extremely dangerous. Your engine bay is full of flammable fluids and plastic parts. People have burned down garages trying to thaw frozen engines with torches. Idling your car inside, closed garages is also deadly. Carbon monoxide is invisible. It's odorless. Even with the door cracked, it builds up quickly. People die every year from this. Never run your engine in enclosed spaces. Always clear windows completely before you drive. Turbo owners, here's another critical mistake. Mistake number four is shutting off your engine immediately after hard driving. If you drive a turbocharged car, pay attention. After spirited drives, your turbo is extremely hot. If you shut off the engine immediately, oil stops flowing, but the turbo is still spinning and baking hot. Oil trapped inside breaks down. It forms hard carbon deposits on bearings. These deposits act like sandpaper the next time you start. This is especially bad when oil is cold. To avoid this, drive gently the last few minutes before you shut off. 
or let it idle 30 to 60 seconds after hard runs. That way, the turbo cools while oil still flows. You avoid cooking the bearings. You're stealing heat from your engine. Mistake number three combines two critical warm-up misconceptions. Most drivers get these wrong every single day. First is blasting cabin heater immediately after you start. It feels good to get warm air immediately, but you steal heat from your engine before it can warm up. Your heater uses the same coolant your engine needs to reach operating temperature. When you crank heat to max, you pull heat from the engine block. This slows warm up. The longer your engine stays cold, the more time it spends in high wear zone. For the first five minutes, keep heater off or on lowest setting. Wait until your temperature gauge moves to at least the quarter mark before you turn up heat. If you need warmth immediately, use seat heaters instead. They don't steal heat from the engine. Second misconception is trusting your dashboard temperature gauge. You think your engine is fully warmed when it's not. That gauge only shows coolant temperature, not oil temperature. Coolant heats much faster than oil. You might see the needle reach normal while your oil is still thick and cold. If you start driving hard just because the coolant gauge looks good, you risk your engine. Think of the coolant gauge as halfway point, not finish line. Most people start their car the wrong way. Mistake number two is about how you start your car. Most don't realize there's a right and wrong way to crank engines in cold weather. Pressing the gas pedal while you start modern fuel injected cars isn't just unnecessary. It can make things worse. Modern engines have computers that automatically adjust fuel and air for perfect cold starts. When you press gas, you override those calculations. You can flood the engine. Pumping the pedal is an old habit from carburetor days. It does nothing for today's cars except confuse sensors and waste fuel. If you turn the key on and off multiple times before you crank, you can also flood the engine. Most cars prime the fuel system when you turn the key to on. Turning it on and off too many times means extra fuel pulses. This makes starting harder. The best way is simple. Turn the key to on. Wait a couple seconds for the fuel pump to prime, then crank with your foot off the gas. For manual transmissions, hold the clutch down while you start. This takes load off the starter. For diesels, Always wait for the glow plug light before you crank. If your car doesn't start right away, wait a few seconds before you try again. Avoid repeated short cranking attempts. Each adds more unburned fuel. This washes oil off walls. The biggest myth of all. Now we've reached mistake number one. The biggest and most common myth of all. Letting your car idle for a long time to warm up before you drive. Almost everyone heard this advice from parents or grandparents. But for modern engines, it's completely wrong. Long idling routines come from carburetor days. Back then, engines needed time to stabilize fuel mixtures. Modern fuel-injected engines manage cold starts automatically. They're designed to be driven almost immediately after brief idle. When you let your car idle for 10 or 15 minutes, it stays in the most damaging state. Cold, thick oil, contracted metal. Rich fuel mixture, cold catalytic converter. All the worst conditions last much longer than they need to. You waste fuel, you produce more pollution, you actually increase engine wear. The right way is to start your engine. Let it idle for 30 seconds to a minute while you get ready. Then drive gently. Keep RPMs low. Avoid hard acceleration for the first five to 10 minutes. Your engine, transmission, and catalytic converter will all warm up faster and more evenly. Remote start systems are great for warming the cabin, but don't let your car idle for 15 or 20 minutes just for comfort. Five minutes is plenty to take the edge off. Remember, gentle driving warms the engine much faster than sitting still. Excessive idling is not just bad for your car. In some places, it's illegal because of air quality laws. Save your engine, your wallet, and the environment. Ditch the long idle myth. Now, you've just learned how to avoid the most costly cold start mistakes. You know how to protect your engine this winter. But did you know that a single oil change mistake can undo all your efforts? It can ruin your engine even faster. Tap the video on your screen now. Discover the most common oil change mistakes drivers make every day. Learn what you should do instead to keep your engine running strong for years. Don't miss it. Your engine's life could depend on it.